Chris Kirk with a birdie putt at 18. Back up that three foot ridge. Look at that end over end. Nice roll for Chris. Yeah. Some nice starts, including the Memorial Tournament presented by Workday next June. Neiman for birdie. Oh, yeah. Up to 12 under. Hey, now he's on that. Well, he's projected number 25 right now. And, you know, <laughs> Kirk, it was David Denham, Chris Kirk, Brendan Todd, Kevin Kisner, and Richard Scott. That was your another look at this approach from Munoz. The one-handed follow-through. And then we miss hit it. And Thomas next. Couple more, 62, yeah. coming down left of it. A little but off the right it would be. Hole located just 12 feet from that right edge of the green. So do you fade it back into the wind and make it go straight? It's usually the ideal play. Especially for a guy who likes to work it, and that's definitely a cut swing back into that breeze. Back to 18 and Matt Jones. I always think Matt Jones is going to give it one more look. Oh, that's beautiful off that sideboard. Shane Lauer apparently afraid of the dark shoes. Got dark everywhere else, but threw the white shoes at him. If you hold it. We haven't seen a whole lot of that this season on the PGA Tour. Lowry for birdie. Let's see whose day can he ruin with this. <laughs> Not gonna really ruin anybody's day. Siwoo wouldn't have mind seeing a three putt. <laughs> That's not going to happen. He's just going to be in that big group tied for 12th. We have about six guys at 13 under. Plenty of golf left. Munoz back at nine. I like to know. Chip, it looked like we made with a eight or nine iron. Matt Jones now for birdie at 18. Yeah. Up to minus 10. Got a post 68. Good luck. Good luck. It's, uh, Good year. And a pretty solid opening nine for Justin Thomas. Without really making any putts. Rolled a nice one in at the third for his birdie, but then two putt birdies at the second and the fifth. Junior tournament, the AJGA tournament at Harmony Landing said, hey, Mr. Thomas, why aren't you using the putter that you made all those putts with? Put it back in play last week and had a better putting week. So look at Munoz, nice save down the hill. Jay Haas in there? Yeah, they just didn't play. Well, Jay Haas hadn't, hadn't won a mate yet. Right, got major, major players. That's right. So Bill and Jay Haas, okay. Look, you, you didn't take long to come up with that either. Oh, they're my new uh, neighbors in yeah. Greenville. Munoz, all right. Yeah, so uh, they'd get two, just like Mike Thomas got a little better. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. One so. of them's got to play the forward tee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you want up there. <laughs> Neither one of them is good news for the other teams. Well, it's going to go down. It's a very special week for those two, indeed. I was able to win the state father son in Wisconsin with my dad. It's Justin Thomas sling hooks that a little too much, and he's like, "Look, I got all white out over here. Why don't you just jump on my pants or something?" I like the uh, the caddy's approach with the shoe. <laughs> he 
He's going to shoo him away. He's got water too now, or the shake? Uh, yeah, I think that he just has that with him. Uh, Sebastian's like, hey, you know what? I'll take some of that. Oh. <laughs> Thought he wanted a drink. <laughs> While we're here, <laughs> wait for this dadgum bug to leave. It totally looked like that. And what are you working on over there? <laughs> but what Wendy does have is helping off the laps and helping to get it to this back right hole location. Oh, yeah. Exactly how he drew it up. Just nailed it. Yeah, I'm feeling hurt now. Second shot, I feel like it's played longer than we thought. Uh, I'm feeling day. hurt, too. Right. Yeah, I do. A couple, a couple more, though. A couple more, yeah, for sure. All right, we thought of a couple others teams that would give the Thomases a run. Great call on the Haases. Do you like playing anything directionally? Not really? No. Okay. You came up with Jonathan Bird and his son, who's playing some junior tournaments. He just won his very first American Junior Golf Association event at the age of 15. I kind of texted Jonathan. I said, did he look at you and say, do you know any harder games? I thought this was supposed to be difficult. Shot three rounds of 70. Ooh, club twirl. There was a sarcastic one earlier in the week. He meant that one. That was at LSU. A, so they're the top team to be right good. there, too. Over to 18, Mackenzie Hughes. Swing. Thank you. Over the drama at Olympia Fields last year, he got in, last guy in. All that weird stuff going on. We're going to see it probably was number 29, and Billy Horschel was number 30 eventually. So what's going to happen today in terms of the jockeying around that 30th spot? Back at 10, Justin Thomas for his birdie. Put him up to 12 under. Take some points away from Siwoo Kim, which is a story. K.H. Lee is sitting at 13. Justin is already projected seventh. And the putter has not behaved great this week, and even today, being three under par early. He's really done it with a couple two putts and his ball striking. All that hand motioning makes you think it was more of a misread. If you're not committed to the read you've uh, put on it, a lot of times you might pull or push it one way or another. So it ends up... Might be able to get up to fourth. No, he seems a little far back for fourth. There's too many other guys out there. Now Munoz. That's for the payoff. What a great shot in. He does it. He at 18. Started the week eighth. You see projected to fall to ninth. But a birdie would put him right back at eighth, at least for the time being. But a good run today, six under par, four birdies, one eagle, back up against. I still don't know how those work. It's just amazing. I still remember the Open Championship I played back in 2011. It was just biblical rain, and I tried to stay dry for the first seven holes. And finally, when Chris and I decided, put the umbrella away, give me the rain gloves, I had the most fun I've ever had on a golf course. Well, that's not that far. I had a lot more fun than I would have thought in the rain. Puddle somewhere to make them more wet. The more wet those gloves are, the more tacky they are on your grips. Most 11th, I don't think we're gonna see anybody go for it today. I, now that I say that, I probably should have looked at the whole information first, but I, did she? He does that, he surprises all of us. 
Mackenzie Hughes now at 18. No bounce. Side bunkers. English next. 171 up the hill. You're right. That's nice thing to hear. Oh, yeah. I think he's feeling it. Matter of fact, he's a guy that. Golf equivalent of the big one, other than that windstorm. <laughs> <laughs> How was your local this week? What's that? How about this bunker shot for Mackenzie Hughes? Is it any easier over here? It is. The, the angle's a little bit <laughs> better, but it's longer bunker shot. It's longer bunker shot, but a better chance to spin it, I feel like, than that short, say, 10-yard bunker shot. Still got to play it left. Oh, yeah. It's hard to do. <laughs> commit to it. Just had a 30-second discussion on which club to hit. We're gonna, you can tell me to commit to it. I see either just go ahead and hit the full one, and maybe lands about six yards behind the hole and spins back, or is he you know, takes something off of the other one to eliminate the spin? So he took the shorter, or longer of the two. And Birdie. Roll insurance. Puts him up to 13 under. He jumps in front of Siwoo Kim. Jumps into the same number as KH Lee. Sebastian Munoz at 11. From 110. One more bounce on the greens today. Kenzie Hughes for par. You got to play it out there a good four to six inches. Drip it down there. And if you had a choice whether you'd make that one on the 72nd hole of the BMW Championship this year or the one last year, obviously last year is way more important. Got him another start. That one would have just gotten him a little more cash. Yeah, the one actually. But a lot more bunched together. That's why these guys strive to get better one-tenth of a shot tournament. That might make you a few more cuts, give you a couple more top tens, and maybe a win that you wouldn't otherwise have. Thomas to get to 12 under. Really needs to see a putt go in. And there it is. That pushes him up to a projected sixth. for the par. 